Hey guys, welcome to my new video on Watchit. We are traveling around Watchit, taking a look around and showing you all the sights and sounds of Watchit. Join us, hit like, subscribe and enjoy the video. it again following the success of our first video where we went on a uh, secret walk this one is not so secret um, we're at the train station where there has a uh, heritage line has been running today between watch it and bishops lydiard and uh, so i thought i'd check it out So as you can see, we are standing on a bridge and below us is a river, lake, water flowing under the bridge right across over to West Street Beach, which is where we'll be heading in this video, which is to my right. Beautiful. What a beautiful lake. Somerset and if you love rocks, stones and the gravel and dead seaweed this is most definitely the beach for you to come to. It's open 24 hours a day seven days a week from what I understand and it's got that kind of Chernobyl vibe to it um, but it's a very nice beach and we're going to continue to explore. <music> Um, on the rocks at West Street Beach. As you can see, you don't want to bring anyone who's unfit to this beach because there is a lot of climbing uh, involved. Only professionals can do what I just did. That takes a lot of training. And it's one of those things where you really have to use your intuition, a lot of instinct, and just go with the flow. Like, that was easy for me. But if you're with, say, someone over... 30 is going to be a problem but uh, I do recommend West Street Beach I think it's one of the best places to come and um, climb and have fun try and catch a tan and it's great for mud as well if you like mud and dirt and filth this is the place to be We're really like close to a, a, another country, Wales. It's just over there, Wales, Barry Island, where they film that show Stacey and Gavin on ITV. That's over there, that's another country. We're in England, and there is Wales. How amazing is that? It's amazing. If you want to go to Wales, though, you have to drive all the way around. There's no direct there's no boats or anything there's no transport there so unless you've got your own boat so if you want to go to wales you have to go all the way around it takes about two hours if you wanted to get to barry island take about two hours by car how ridiculous is that with 12 miles away they should do something about it but you know anyway there's wales 
international country. Foreign country. Well, yeah. The UK isn't a country. Um, it's a union between England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland. So, if Wales became independent, which they're talking about, then it'd be a foreign country. And that's where that is, Wales. <laughs> We're in the Watchet Harbour, and uh, this wall behind you is from 1869. That's 1869, right? So we're in 2021 right now. That means that's 152 years old. This wall is 152 years old. So if you come to watch it, make sure you check out this wall. It's a very old wall older than any human on this earth. This wall has been here longer than any person walking the planet. Think about it. Think about it. So as you can see, this is the uh, Watch It Harbour Lighthouse in Watch It Somerset. And this is where we are in our video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Craig Solo. You can also follow at Travel Britain. And you can also follow at Train Snaps. And you can also follow at Craig.Solo. So there's four accounts you can follow, which will keep you entertained um, whenever or wherever you are. Um, you know, we're here in Watch It, and it does make me think that, you know, we should support these small towns across the country, across the UK, or wherever you are in the world. Make sure you try and support the small mum and pop stores, as they call them in the US, or the small independent businesses, because everyone needs their help. So let's all try and get together as a, as a society and help everyone and support everyone. And hopefully that will make the world a much better place. Now, as you can see on my uh, left, there are no boats. Now, usually there should be boats here. And this is an interesting metaphor for small businesses and small towns. Where is everyone? So anyway, I thought I would end with a song about the boats. It's a cappella. Where do all the boats looking fine?